Well, good morning, St. Francis Parish. This is Sunday, December the 20th, and it's the fourth Sunday of Advent. And guess what? We have a wonderful surprise for you today. This will be a presentation of our annual Christmas pageant, which is performed by St. Francis Kids, the children of our parish. Now it's uh, been put together by uh, Becky all in one video, and it's been shot all over the neighborhood. So I hope you enjoy it, and it's a wonderful story of our Lord's birth. Hello, angels. Do we have everyone here? Hi. Yeah. Hi. 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 Angels, Chris and June, I can't see you. June, turn your camera on, please. Chris, are you there? Are you close by? Angels, oh. we started? What? Sorry, I was just grabbing a tea. Thank you for joining us during your tea break. Angels, June, we still can't see you. Have you turned yeah, your camera on? You. Oh, I love the color. Can't see you. Where are you, June? It is, it is oh, my okay. camera's on. Well, June. I don't know what you angels are talking about. It's a you're really, all, you're, you're oh, all pink. I don't, it's pink, yeah, it's definitely pink. What's going on? Oh. <gasps> there you guys. are. There she is. All right, that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what did I miss? What, what's so funny? Oh, hi, June. Hi. Okay. All right, uh, Roxy, you're, uh, Angel Roxy, your, your screen is frozen, but we're just going to have to go with it. Okay, dear? Okay. All right. Now, now that everyone is here, I want to tell you about the very important job we have tonight. <gasps> oh, sounds Ooh. really good. Oh, yes, Trish. Oh. You have a question? Your question, Trish? Trish, I can't hear your question. Trish. Check your, okay, now she's laughing. Y'all can't hear your question, Trish. I'm sorry, I was on mute. I thought I came on and I was on mute. Hey, that's I'm sorry, okay. I'm sorry. I just wanted to ask, what's the very important uh, job that you have for us? All right, well, as I was going to say, <laughs> we are, uh, going to take a very important message to a group of shepherds on a hill near Bethlehem. We need to tell them, oh, Trish, yes, what is it? It's still, no, check your mute again. I think your mute's on again. Again. Now, what is your sorry, question? I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My question is, what's the message that we're going to give to the shepherds? All right, so we're going to tell the shepherds about the birth of God's son, Jesus. We will tell oh. them the good news and send them to find the baby in a stable in the town of Bethlehem. Stable? Yes. Stable? Who's in a stable? Is, is, is God's son going to be an animal? What? What? I love animals. I love oh. animals. <laughs> oh, look. May I have your attention, please, angels? God's son, a human baby, will be born in a stable because Bethlehem is very busy right now and all of the inns are full. Now, please meet me at the designated safe zone for our trip down. And please try not to scare the shepherds. Okay. See you guys soon. Um, bye. I just need to make a quick stop first. I've had too much tea. Oh, oh well, I'll see you there, everyone. Bye. 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 Hey, where did everybody go? Huh, I guess the meeting's over. God sent the angel Gabriel to Mary to tell her she would have a baby. Gabriel also visited Joseph to tell him that he and Mary were going to have a baby. Did you hear? Hear what? Gabriel told you, Joseph, that Joseph and Mary are going to have a baby. That's incredible. The baby was to be named Jesus, who would, who would be great, the Son of the Most High. Those 
days a decree went out from the Emperor Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be counted. Joseph traveled from Nazareth to the city of David called Bethlehem. <laughs> there is Mary and Joseph on their journey to Bethlehem. They have a little help from Daddy. Yeah. Around they go on their journey it's not an easy journey but they're going to make it mary's on a nice horse joseph is helping to make the horse go forward and here they are they've arrived at bethlehem O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. There's no room in the inn. Joseph had to stay in the stable where Jesus was born. There were shepherds in that region and the angels came to tell them the news of the baby's birth.
wrapped in claws and lying in the manger. He's gone! She's going to like a baby Jesus. They were afraid of the angels, <laughs> but when they heard the wonderful news, they decided to go to the baby. They found Mary and Joseph and the child laying in a manger. Wise men came from far away to visit Jesus. The wise people traveled a long way and they followed a star which shone brightly over the place where Jesus was. traveled from the far east to visit the new king of Israel. They, with them, they brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. They traveled for days and days. Finally, they came close. The star was stopping over a stable, and there they found a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes. He would be the new king.
they met, knelt in amazement and wonder at this beautiful babe that would soon be king, bringing love and peace to the world. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round young virgin, mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, Wasn't that an amazing presentation of the children of the parish of our Lord's birth? St. Francis, kids, you did it again. I am so proud of you. I just love it when the children of the parish tell the story of Jesus' birth. Of course, I love to see you in costume. Mary and Joseph, the angels, the shepherds, the wise men, the wise people, as we call them today. And of course, uh, we also have that innkeeper that we love too. And what about the star? Did you see the star? And everyone that sang, you did such a wonderful job. And congregation, don't they deserve a strong round of applause? I think they do. Well, once again, Thank you, children, for presenting. And I want to give you um, a little present myself, so I hope that you can come to the church on Tuesday, December the 22nd, or Wednesday, December the 23rd. We are transforming this sanctuary, as we always do on Christmas Eve, with the Christmas tree, with the, the creche scene, and of course, our Advent wreath and the the Christmas lights everywhere. I want you to come by and see it with your parents. Everyone will be invited to come by. Only uh, six or seven people in the church at any one time, and you'll have a chance to say a prayer and uh, get a candy cane from Father Jeff. I want to thank you for doing such a wonderful job today. Don't forget, God loves you, children.